Ultimately, Twilight Rendezvous was selected for the Juror's Choice Award for the striking color composition and line work. It immediately popped out to all the jurors and was clearly the award winner. Being an artist, and thank you to all the participants. Um, long live visual art, the expression of human emotional intelligence, the expression of creativity and of the ability to see the world differently and to challenge the status quo and even sometimes to break some rules. Thank you to the Quarta Art Gallery uh, for inviting Fleming College, uh, Harvard and School of Online Design in taking part in the judging. Merci and miigwech. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say a few words uh, from the perspective of, of a, an active artist uh, who spent a lifetime uh, at it. Uh, I know from personal experience just how difficult it is uh, since what we do is so very personal to take something like that that we've created and put it out there for public view, let alone a competition, takes a certain degree of courage. So to all of the artists who submitted to the, um, <clears throat> the current uh, e exhibition and competition, uh, I say congratulations, well done. The, the scope of work uh, was, was very interesting to me. Uh, uh, and, and also the fact that there were so many entries. It's unfortunate there's only X number of awards being given because truly there were other pieces as very deserving of recognition uh, that simply didn't get one. But that's the difficulty of being on a jury and it's a responsibility that we took very, very seriously uh, I must say, working with the two other uh, jurors, uh, we, our, our choices aligned quite organically. And so we feel very confident that what we chose uh, truly does represent um, among the very best that was in the exhibit. And uh, I don't know how many of the recipients are here tonight, but I look forward to those who are uh, to shake their hand and say, well done, thank you. Our final award for the evening is the Juror's Choice Award for Highest Achievement. This beautiful piece behind me. But first, a few words about the artist. Brona Wingel, born in Slovakia, currently resides in Halliburton, Ontario. A self-discovered artist creating visionary paintings that celebrate love, life, and femininity. As a former professional dancer and dance teacher, Brona's stunning paintings are intricately choreographed with beautifully fluent form and razor sharp lines with her art invoking a sense of interconnection between all life forms. Simply put, her paintings create, celebrate love while exploring various aspects of life, death, femininity, motherhood, freedom, relationships, and the sensuality of sanctuary. Sanctuary. Sorry, it has been a long day, and I apologize for that. And sexuality. Rona's paintings offer joy, peace, and harmony, sparking the imagination to dream dreams and create anew. The artist's statement for Twilight Rendezvous is gorgeous, and I invite you all to go to the gallery's online page, to the website, and read the full statement. I'm just going to share a piece of it with you tonight. In the sparkling light of the moon, floating on the ripples of pure joy, they need to seal their promise of love. Locked in a lifelong bond, swans are a worldwide symbol of love, devotion, partnership, and peace. Their long necks flowing in elegant 
courtship dance, their feathers of pure bridal white. They truly are nature's ambassadors of magical romance and the ultimate icon of soulmates. Brona, please come to the stage. My thanks goes also to the three jurors, Xavier, Vincent, and Michael, for their difficult task and for choosing my baby from Pedro and Julia, the highest in the world. I want to thank my partner, which is Miller. It was his art that inspired me to start creating 10 years ago, and I started creating my own uh, colorful fantasy worlds on campus. And finally, my gratitude goes to the birds. Birds can do just about everything we can do. They can walk, run, swim, sing, collect treasures, and construct elaborate castles to impress their mate. Some can even talk and annoy our dog. <laughs> yeah, he hates uh, blue jeans. <laughs> but they can do that one thing that humans can only do in their dreams. They can fly. And it, it is this ability that elevates birds into symbols of freedom, peace, strength, endurance, wisdom, and love. It is this ability that makes us look up to the sky and be inspired to dream. Thank you very much.